What's up, Otakus? Welcome home to Taylor Mid Otaku. My name is Taylor, and today it's an unboxing video, but I'm not in, I'm not getting John. A while back, like a really long time back, back in goddamn February, uh, my boy Shooting Star Sheriff sent me this, and I have not unboxed it yet. Yo, cuz, you ever unbox that thing I sent you? I guess this is being a it's gonna be a collab now. Okay, let's try this again. What's up, otakus? Welcome home to Taylor Me Otaku. My name is Taylor, and this is the boy shooting star show. Yo, what's up? My sexies. <laughs> <laughs> this might actually be your first time ever seeing my boy shooting star share. Tell me a little bit about yourself, though. Oh, I'm doing like a biography on myself? I mean, or you could just say whatever you want yeah, to whatever them. I say. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Hey, what's going on, guys? Wait, hold on. I don't. Oh, your camera's right there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yo, what's going on, guys? Sheriff, um, I'm the Shooting Star Sheriff. Um, as far as you know, uh, me and the homeboy here, we actually know each other in person. Yeah. So, we've been friends for a very long time, me and him. But that that that's that's me. I'm I'm the I'm the one who who who, who got this man to get up and actually make his channel. So he is. You can you can you can, you can thank me. I gave the boy the courage when he needed. But yes. the rest of it is all him. Proud of him. Proud of my boy. Thanks. Oh, boy. Thanks. Just hit the 5K too. Hey. You just hit the 5K. I, I, I did, 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 did. Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah. Thank you. Once again. And if you've been here since day one and you've seen all of our collapses, it will be the first time that we're actually in the same room at the same time. So you know it's gonna get wild. I mean, we're just unboxing something. So. Yeah, we. Yeah. Let's get to that. He sent me this back in February. And he's like, no, I'll get this for you, but you gotta unbox it in a video. And I said, word. And then I came in here, I put it down, and it's goddamn June. And I haven't. First of all, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, you're good. I mean, you're a busy man. Second of all, I'm sorry. Third of all, I don't really care. We're doing it right now. All right. All right, all right cool. So. For those of you who don't know this about us, we're huge Yu-Gi-Oh fans. I know none of you knew that, but <laughs> we are actually huge Yu-Gi-Oh fans. And this is one of the latest decks. Anyway, let's open this up. This is taking forever. Oh, you can just cut that. You can just cut it. You, there you go. Get, feel, feel that. Oh, do some ASMR. Do some ASMR. Where's the? Where's the? No, the little ASMR with the. We have the what the hell is this? Structured X Soul Burner. Structured X Soul Burner. 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 Soul Burner. I can talk. I can talk well. I can talk good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's got some monster and some fuckboy in the front. I I'm not sure. I don't watch this the new one. What is it? Brains? Brains? You yeah. can have brains? I, I, can, I don't watch brains. I can give a brief summary. Give a brief summary, dog. All right, cool. Um, future editing Taylor, zoom in on my face. All right, cool. So now that you're zoomed in on my face, I don't know if editing Taylor did that. Editing Taylor, if you did that, put some text below to say that you did that. All right, cool. So, so Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains is the ah, uh, whoosh, whoosh, the sixth series spinoff of the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime series that I, I, you know, I currently watch. And Soul Burner is, which I don't know if you're gonna put a picture of Soul Burner anywhere on the screen. If you want to put him over my face, Soul Burner is one of Yusaku, which Yusaku is the main protagonist, and Soul Burner is kind of like his partner in crime a little bit. Um, and Soul Burner's deck is actually meta relevant, which is actually really, really funny because he's like the sidekick character. Yusaku's like the main character, his deck's low tier. Uh, Soul Burner's deck is kind of high tier, and it's got a, it's kind of got a high ceiling. The deck is completely fire based. Uh, spoiler alert if you didn't like look at the box, I guess, but um. It's got a lot of cool cards, and um, 
Cuz doesn't know how to link summon, so we're I'm gonna we're, we're gonna look at all these cards, and he's gonna be like, "What do these do?" And he's probably gonna refer to me. So, link all right. what? Yo, what link? Link, link what? Link summon. Synchro what? Syn <laughs> Synchro. Synchro what? Synchro summon. What summon? Synchro summon. What what? Synchro summon. Oh, what's that? It's where you play a monster. Wait, I seem to have stopped caring. Synchro what? But I like fire. Hence, Agumon and Charizard over there. But we're gonna open this in this video for you guys. And if you don't like Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah. Okay, alright. So we got the box here, which is a nice box. Fuck boy in the front. Whatever that's supposed to be. Okay. And then we're, now we're gonna open this. Eh. Eh. ASMR box opening. I don't care about what? your ears. <laughs> you got a lot of ASMR in this one video. <laughs> so that's what it looks like on the inside. Actually, no. There's, that, there's nothing on the inside. That's what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> Cardboard. Absolutely nothing. White power. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm actually dead right now. <laughs> White power. Then we have the deck. We have we have the deck. We have the rule book, which is upside down for some reason. And we have the play mat. All the way over here. You should you should open that up. It's kind of nice. The play mat? Yeah, the play mat. Now let's look yeah, at the play mat. Yeah, look at it. It's, it's big. I mean, it's got some. I mean, you might like the. Like art. my dick. It's on fire. Like my dick. Wait, is it? <laughs> like my dick. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. If I could... I like it. There, 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 there it goes. Now, now it's straight. Now it's all good. And this is actually quite fantastic. I'm covering up his face. This is a fantastic mat. And here we have the Yu-Gi-Oh! rulebook. With the same fuckboy in the front. There's the deck. First up, we got the big hitter. I can't read that. You want me to read it? Sure. All right, so first off, we have our Salomon Gray. Oh, God. Oh, Deadpool. Oh. Okay, so first off, we have Salomon Gray Heat Leo, which Salomon Gray Heat Leo's effect dictates as this. Uh, when this card is linked summoned, you can target one card on your opponent's spell and trap card zone, and then you can put it back into the deck. And then Salomon Greats have this have this mechanic that's kind of exclusive to this deck it's called the reincarnation summon so basically you use this monster and you summon another copy of the same monster but when you do that it gets an extra ability so for salmon gray heat leo what happens is it says if you if this card was linked summon using another salmon gray heat leo you get to basically choose one monster on the field and then its attack drops to uh you can drop the attack to one of your monsters in your in your graveyard. So let's say if you got a monster in your graveyard chilling with zero attack, and you reincarnate another copy of this guy by using another copy of this, you get then you would get to choose a monster in your graveyard, and then the opponent's monsters drop down to that attack. So you can just like ram it over. Plus, because you link summoned it again, you can still take another spell and trap card and put it back into the deck on their field. So you're getting rid of the spells and traps and you're beating over monsters. All right. So, and to summon Heat Leo, to summon a Link monster, you take, all you need is two or more fire effect monsters. So you basically just tribute them and they just go to the grave. That's a special summon? That's how to bring it out. You just like, it's like a tribute summon. Oh, okay. So it's a regular summon. Basically, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But that's what you need to make it. Where it says two or more fire effect monsters. That's how it's it's a link three. So normally link three monsters need three monsters. But as long as you have two or more fire effects, you can fire effect monsters, you can bring this guy out. Which, spoiler alert, the whole deck is fire, so you don't have an issue. <laughs> spoiler alert. So quick question. Okay. For who who does not know okay. anything I'm, about I'm here. I'm 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 right here, I'm helping you. What 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 is that? What, what's up with that? That arrow? Yeah, why is he pointing toward, toward my opponent? So, so when you summon a link monster, right? Uh, these zones here, so the bottom, bottom left, bottom right, and up, those are zones where you can summon extra monsters out of your extra deck. So you can summon more link monsters, or you can summon like a fusion monster or an Xyz monster, which this deck has an Xyz monster, uh, or fusion monsters, which this deck can add fusion monsters. 
Um, and ritual monsters. Which this deck has fusion monsters. Um, and ritual. I meant ritual. But anyway, you can use, you can actually summon out those other ones, those other monsters from your extra deck. Um, it points up because, you know, you gotta keep it balanced some kind of way. So, it gives your mom, it gives your opponent one zone, but it gives you two zones. Give a damn about my opponent? I'm just saying. That's he, so that's Heat Leo. That's the boss. Um, and because you have to use Reincarnation Link Summoning, you don't get just one, you get two. Oh, whoop, nope. Spoiler alert! Where is it? Where is it? Oh, you get two. You get two. You get two copies. It's in a different art, but you get two copies. So that's 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 that dude. I'm, I'm knocking everything off. Yep. Yep. Next is this nigga. So, that's that's one of the Xyz monsters. This is Mirage Stalio. Uh, you just need... Two level three monsters? Yeah, you need two level three monsters to bring it out. It's an Xyz monster, so you Xyz summon it out like you do. But what this guy does is he just lets you special summon more monsters. So he lets you just get more monsters on the board to do more like summons and do other things. So he's really good to like, you know, get more monsters onto your board. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. We gonna speed this up. All right. Next up. Um. Oh, Balin. Balin. Bal. Bal, Bal <laughs> Solomon Gray. Balin. Balinks. 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 Cut the. Cut. Cut all that out. No. <laughs> So you just need one level four or lower uh, link uh, cybers monster, which all these cards in this deck are mostly cybers, um, to bring this guy out. And he points down, so he only gives he gives you a zone. He doesn't give your opponent a zone. Cool. So that's cool. Uh, so basically, what he does is, if you have a Salomon Great monster that would be destroyed by Battle Card Effect, you can banish this instead. So it just protects your monster. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Yeah. Okay. He just protects your dudes. Thank you, pussy. So this is Salomon Great Gazelle. Gazelle, if for for people who have played Yu-Gi-Oh on this channel or people who are playing Salomon Greats, Gazelle is like your main combo key. This is the one you want like three of. If a Salomon Great monster is sent to the graveyard, um, it if this card is normal special summoned, you can um, get one card from the grave. You can add a Salomon Great card from the graveyard. So basically, he just lets you get your stuff back. Cause Salomon Greats is what Salomon Greats are really really good at is getting stuff from the graveyard. So the monsters that you invest to for your link summons, you can get them right back. You can add a lot of stuff from graveyard back to your hand. He just helps you do that better, easier. That's dope. Yeah, he's really good. He's like three of, not to mention that card is like probably like what, like ten dollars by itself. Ten dollars. Dog, this deck is this deck is expensive. This is Spiny. Uh, Spiny's also a really good one as well. You can discard it to target one face-up monster on the field. It gains five hundred attack until the end of the turn. Um, and then um, and if this card is in your graveyard, you can uh, you can special summon. You can special summon him from the graveyard too. So he makes your stuff bigger. And um, he also helps you uh, protect. I think he protects your stuff as well. Hold on. Bump it up a little bit. Trying to pop. Oh, the focus. I'm so sorry. The focus. Yeah, so when he's in the graveyard, he can special summon himself. <laughs> so... Like I said, he comes back from the grave, and but you can discard him from your hand to boost the monster's attack. So, like, your Salomon Great Heat Leo and all your other stuff. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We got a magic card, nigga. Sal Salomon Great Circle. So, this is, like, a quick play spell. Salomon Great Circle is actually a really, it's really, really clutch. Let me, let me zoom in on there. There we go. Uh, it's got one of the, you can activate one of these effects. So, you can add a Salomon Great Monster from, the, from, the, from your deck to your hand. So, that's basically the entire deck. <laughs> add any Salomon Great monster. And then the other one is you can target a Link monster you control that was Link Summon. And then using a monster with its same name, you can summon. It basically lets you reincarnate. Do a reincarnation summon. So basically, this quick play spell can let you instantly reincarnate your Heat Leo into another Heat Leo, and then you get all those effects off. Mm. Mm hmm. So he's really that's really good. Salomon Great Roar is a. Uh, bringing this closer so you guys can see um it, it basically says as long as you control a salmon great you can basically if someone activates a spell trap or a monster effect you can negate that and destroy it nice mm -hmm. that's, that's that that's that's not. it's power it's power uh other than that let's just uh, look at the heart i mean you got salmon great raccoons which you know the raccoons is you got a coon in your deck let's not add that <laughs> Let's not add that. Let's I not got add a that. Coon. You gotta, you gotta. I help you with your bags, Robert, but you're a coon. 
<laughs> oh my god. Boondocks. <laughs> it's a Boondocks reference. It's Uncle Ruckus. We, it is. Ooh, buddy. Um, Salmon Great Mole. Basically, um, with this helps you. It special summons itself. So it gets you an extra monster on the board. That's his mole. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you have Salomon Great Paro. Oh, this is foul. Whoops. Which is a he's a peacock. Burning peacock. Burning peacock. Burning peacock. Whoever named peacock were, was, was a pervert. There you go. There you go. Then you got Salomon Great Beat Bison. I love the name of this. Beat Bison. Beat Bison. Lit. Uh, if you have three or more Salmon Great Monsters um, in your graveyard, which you probably will, uh, you can special summon this card from your hand in defense position. I um, mean, he's got 2,800 attack. So, uh, so he's a beat stick. He's, I mean, you can use him for beat sticks, and but you'll probably use him to link off into other monsters. Like, like the way this format kind of is, is like you kind of build, you kind of want to just build a really solid board, and then you, you want to see if your opponent can break your board or if you can counter if they do break your board. Um, that's pretty much and by breaking board. I just mean like getting over like what you're putting out uh, Salmon great mirror, which mirror is a meerkat Hell yeah, like like Timon from Timon and Pumbaa. I got Timon on my deck. There you go. You got a Timon Hell yeah. And then Salmon great Foxy. This is this one's got a lot of anime relevance on the show Well, I, Foxy's used a lot in the show uh, You got a fox on fire. Everything is on fire. I hope you know that. I mean that's sweet. I like to burn things. That ain't Falco. Salmon Gray Falco. That's a really old joke, but Salmon Gray Falco is also another monster that you can kind of like recur back from the graveyard and it does some things uh, as well. Salmon Gray Falco's a. I can't wait to attack with this. I can say Falco, Falco punch. <laughs> Falco. Oh, Salmon Gray Jack Jaguar. Is Jack Jaguar? That's, that's kind of boss. I'm not going to lie. Ja yeah, he. It, it says, yeah, while this card is in your graveyard, you can ta target one Salmon Great monster in your graveyard. And you can uh, sh put that target back into the deck. And then if you do, you can special summon this card. So basically, there's like this, there's this cool combo where you can like summon a monster, summon another monster, link summon, and then use Jack Jaguar's effect to put another monster back into the deck, and then he special summons himself. So you just keep recurring, getting your monsters back, and then you keep special summoning more monsters. So you just never run out of cards, basically. I told y'all he'd do that shit. <laughs> and then, uh, Salomon Great. This is Salomon Great Wolvie. That is not a wolf. It kind of looks like a wolf. That, look, it's on fire. What do you think? Does that look like a wolf, guys? I that, think that looks like a wolf. That it's looks... Wolf. They try to make that a it's wolf. Salmon Great Wolvie. I mean, like all other Salmon Greats, if, if you use this card as a link as link material, so if you use this to bring out a link monster, he gets effects. You get, like, bonus effects for using him. So that's, that's basically what he's doing. Uh, and then you got Salmon Great... This is Salmon Great Paro. I was looking for this one. Yeah, so it's like if your opponent, if your opponent, uh, he, if someone declares a direct attack on you, you can special summon this card from the from the hand. So he protects you. Not to mention he's got like two thousand attack. Mm. So, like ho. Oh. He does. You know what? Put ho oh on the screen. Put ho oh on the screen and then put him right next. Put him right next to him. It is a ho. -oh. Anyway. Ho. Oh. And then the one, the last of the Salmon Great cards you get in the deck is Salmon Great Foxer. So you have Wolvie, you have Wolvie and Foxer. So this is I'm trying to like zoom in so you can like see the effect for the people that want to see it. So so this helps you with spells and traps as well. So that one's really good. And then you oh he looks like a good boy. <laughs> so these are also going to be just the regular like fire monsters that they just kind of added. To the deck, which you probably would take out for more Salomon Greats if you're trying to play this competitively. Uh, but you've got uh, True King Agadamadazuru the Vanisher. Okay. Yeah, that's that's that. <laughs> um, Sound like the Migos. You know what he does. Um, if this card is in your hand, you can destroy two other monsters in your hand and or face up on the field, including a fire monster. And if you do, special summon this card. Beast it. <laughs> Yeah. But he lets you destroy stuff, so, like, it's cool. You get a kaiju. I get a kaiju? You get a kaiju. Is it... Doragon the Mad Flame kaiju. It's, it's not Godzilla. It's not the... It's not the only one that matters. He's not... He's more of a dragon. He's he do really, Lofado. But he's classified as a dinosaur, but he looks like a dragon. I hate it when Yu-Gi-Oh! does that. When you, like... When they do, like, an art card, and you're like, Oh, that's truly a dragon. And then you look at it, and it says, like, worm. You're like, What? 
<laughs> she's just like, you're looking at that like, what are you talking about? You must mean like Charizard. Char like, I'm gonna just go to the next card before people get upset. Um, Flame Veil Fire Dog. So, Flame Veil Monsters. Um, I remember that fool. Fencing Fire Fairy. Yeah, they reprint some things. Inferno, that's old. That is, <laughs> that is ancient, old. actually. That is super, super old. And then... He's not staying in there. Why this deck sold out so quickly, and the reason why this deck was so expensive, well, not so expensive, but it was so hard to get uh, hands on, is because it comes with a reprint of a what was a once, like, $80 card. <laughs> that was this bitch $80? Yes. Um, it's a tuner. So you can use it for synchro summoning, but no one uses it for synchro summoning. It is what you call a hand trap. So a hand trap is an effect that you can activate from your hand. And right. why, and basically why it's so nice is because if it activates from your hand, there's really nothing people can do about that. So be, there's no way to like negate an effect that activates from your hand. Well, now there's a card that can do it called, you know, a call by the grave, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, but hand, but it basically gives you an effect that's almost that can't be negated. So it's super, super like powerful. So basically, you get to activate this whenever the opponent adds a card from their deck to their hand. They special summon from their deck, or they send a card from the deck to the graveyard. You can send this card to the graveyard, and you can just negate that effect. So anytime they activate either of these three little abilities, you can activate this, and it just negates the effect. That's why this deck, for this one card, is why this deck was so expensive. Or not expensive, it was so, why it was so sought after. Dear God. It's, it's powerful. It's a powerful card. Little girl a beast. She, she is a little beast. She's pretty. She, uh, Red Resonator, for those Jack Atlas fans. Um, and then you got Volcanic Shell. Those are old. Volcanic Shells. Um, and then last but not least for the monsters, you have uh, Four Mud Skipper. Looks like a little tadpole. It, it it does. It just lets you get more fire monsters. It but he can basically turn into a fire monster. So if you need an extra fire monster, you get you, you get that. I was about to say, why is he a light? Yeah. Why is he here? So so we're just gonna look at some of the art on some of these. You got Salomon Great Claw, which is something you can like uh, equip to your Salomon Greats. Salomon Great Sanctuary is their field spell. This is what really lets them go off with their reincarnation summons and stuff, which is really which is really really dope. Uh, you have Will of the Sa Will of the Salomon Great, which these are kind of like, I think Sanctuary um, and Will of the Salomon Great are really good because they're continuous. Well, this is a field spell, so it always stays on the field. Um, and then you get some 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 classics. Monster Reincarnation, take that out for Monster Reborn because Monster Reborn is back at one. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, Circle of the Fire Kings. Um, which basically target one fire monster you control and one fire monster in your graveyard destroy that monster And if you do special summon that other that other monster from your graveyard, so it helps you look like bring stuff back uh, Oh, I used to use this in my deck for a little while trans modify so uh, Trans modify basically lets you take a monster you tribute it and then you summon another monster That's the same attribute. So another fire monster, but one level higher So it lets you special summon other monsters out Right. Um, Link Bound, we ain't talking about that card. Um, Magic Planter, send one face up continuous trap you control to the graveyard, draw two cards. So it lets you draw cards. Um, Salmon Great Rage, Rage is a super powerful card. Rage, um, Salmon Great Gift, um, it's another trap card that helps you like, it's continuous but it lets you draw two cards as well. Has an effect that lets you draw cards. Uh, trans the Transmigration, Transmigration Prophecy. Target two cards in the graveyard, put them back into your deck. That's not bad. Not bad. Threatening Roar. Boy. <laughs> uh, That's break, a break off trap hole. When a link monster is link summoned, destroy all monsters on the field that are not linked. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. And a very Actually. popular burn, burn for Ooh, burn strategies. Backfire. Backfire. Because you like burn decks. I, I have one burn deck. Uh, and then this card was actually really, really, it's still really powerful. Goes in match. Each player can only control one attribute of a monster. Send all all other face-up monsters they control to the graveyard. So because your deck is all fire, each player can only control one, one, uh, one attribute of a monster. Ooh. So... So that means if your opponent is not playing all fire type monsters, then all their monsters just go to the graveyard. 
So that that's kind of broken. Those match is very very powerful. Um, and then that's all for the trap. So this is just basically gonna be the other link monsters that you get. So this is the other Sound the Great Heat Leo that you get. So this is so you can reincarnate into another one. Okay. So you get a duplicate of him. So if you notice, they're both very different. Yeah, they they're the same. They just have different arts. They just have different arts. See, just just dif just different arts there. Um, so you get another Salamon Great Heat Leo. You get a Flame Administrator. I used to use this in my deck for a little while. All your Link monsters just gain 800 attack. That includes himself. So he goes to like 2k, and then that makes your Salamon Great Heat Leo from 23 to like 30. 30. 31. <laughs> 31. So he's really good. Um, D, D Little Chimera. He look like he getting his dick. Anyway, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's no, that's that, that that's his tail. I that's thought that tail. was hair, dog. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that was hair. And that's 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 it. That's that's that's, that's the whole day. Jesus Christ. I got a lot of heat. Oh god, I can't believe you said that. I'm out. <laughs> I'm leaving this video. The deck is absolutely fire. Oh no. You could you could say that it was uh it was absolute flames. Future, future editing Taylor. I need you to uh, drop those um, anime uh, pixel shades on me right now. And I need some trumpets. <laughs> might want to blow on the deck because it might be a little bit too hot. You can say that touching it could cause burns. <laughs> when I do it, you are losing subscribers rapidly. Stop. <laughs> when I do you and I beat you, you have to go to the hospital for third degree burns. These are awful. <laughs> these are these are god. -awful. I hope you clip these at the end. <laughs> no. Oh boy. I did not. They're all in the video, unedited. Um, that's that's a lie. I edited this. This 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 went on for like a good two minutes. You don't need this for two minutes. You don't need that. Anyway. So, I like to thank you for sending me this. Oh, don't worry. Giving buddy. me this. Oh, it's okay. I can't wait to make Mims cry with this. I can't wait. He's our friend that we play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh with. But thanks for showing up for the video. Oh, no, not a problem, man. Thanks for having me. Once again, it's been the boy, Shooting Star Sheriff. Link to his channel down in the description below. Go subscribe. Like, like right now, like, like go, go subscribe. I will I we'll wait. We'll, we'll see here. See you, dude. You think it, you think they clicked? They better click. Okay, they'll click. I feel like they clicked. That little bitch didn't. Talking to you. Go subscribe. Show them some Taylor Mental Talk of Love. Tell them I sent you, because I'm telling you right now. And he hurt me. I did. But tell them I'm here because Taylor sent me. Stop, stop not doing it. You, you, go, go, go do it. Like, what, what are you waiting for? He's got, he's got dope stuff on his channel. Well, mobile playthroughs, you know, console playthroughs. Boy's, boy's doing a good job over there. Oh, thanks, guys. You're welcome. Now go subscribe. I can I can do this all day long. Oh my god, we need to end this video. <laughs> end this video. But hey, hey guys, it was it was cool checking you guys out. Um, and it was cool being here with with Taylor. So, if you if you liked this video too, and you're new to either me or him, as especially this guy, uh, go ahead hit the hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell because you know YouTube is busted and it doesn't tell you when you know people actually upload things. So when things are uploaded, you can hit that little bell and then you know it'll do those things for you. It'll keep you informed so your face can see his face as much as possible. Um, but without that, um, me and the boy are going to hop up out of here. We are Audi. Was that your outro? It wasn't mine. Cut it. <laughs> but yeah, we're, we're, we're out, guys. We're, we're, we're going to be out of here. So until then, uh, what do you normally say? I normally say... 
that's all I got for you guys this time. Like the video, leave a like. You want to see something else? Put that down in the comment section down below. Do you like Yu-Gi-Oh or do you not? Yes, you do. Who's your favorite character? Put that down in the comment section below. I personally am a huge fan of Kaiba because he likes to just roast people. Your third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. <laughs> oh, that's great. If you're new around here and you like what you just saw, you like me, you like my boy Shooting Star Sheriff, please don't hesitate to subscribe and join the family. We got waifus. Like, literally, we are actually surrounded by waifus right now, and you can't have enough. You can't have too many waifus. Yeah. Follow me on all my social medias. Share this video on all your social medias. Follow my boy on all his social medias and go subscribe to him. Link in the description below, as I said before. Until next video, guys. Peace out. Peace. What the hell are you doing? I don't know. All right. <laughs>